Alright. Down here in the woods. Just doing some, some basic stuff. Getting some uh, ridge lines pre-made for my tarps and stuff. I'm going to have a little breakfast and set to cool down a little bit. Some a little sit pad. Tayton Sports. Little flexible ones. Sit on that. Must have a little cushion. Alright, but I'm gonna uh, get this little uh, stove going. Just a little basic Walmart one. Uh, get it going. I've used it once before, but. Basically, it's got these little fuel cubes. You just light those and it runs off of that. Usually one fuel cube, cube will burn for enough time to get the water boiling. So I'm gonna use the MSR Titan little pot, it's titanium. But if you haven't used this yet, I actually bought this, or got this used off of eBay. But I'm gonna give it a try. You know, simple pot. It's got the little spout on the end. Lid locks pretty good. So we're gonna give that a try. Let's get one of these cubes. Start to heat up a little bit. Pour more water in the pot. What I'm gonna have to do too is this pot's not that big, so I have to close this up just a little bit. Probably somewhere about that size. All right, let's see. So let's uh, let's get our water here. Fill this puppy up. Fill it up probably about halfway. Pot looks small, but I think it actually holds a good bit. So, right, we'll put this on here. Alright, let it do its thing. Put all the fuel away. You know? And the way it turned up, might end up having to add another fuel tab, I'm not sure. And then it's got a little GSI cup. I uh, light my fire plastic sport. I'm gonna be having some hot chocolate and some oatmeal. So, all right, so we'll bring it to a boil and I'll bring you guys back. Good opportunity to warm the hands up. <laughs> that him gets hot. So, so let's put a glove on. If this is enough. Alright, we're almost to a boil. Let's get the bubbles down at the bottom right now. Probably gonna get the lid on all the way. As far as cube burn time, it doesn't look like it's whole lot left. Hope it's enough to get the water, if not boiling, to a good warm temperature, but we'll see. We'll see. So one thing I'm noticing with the pot that I like is, uh, let me get you closer up, is <clears throat> with the handle, it's actually got a locking point. So it actually locks into place and stays put. Or it drops down, so I, I do like that. It makes it a lot easier when you're pulling the lid on and off and stuff. It just stays sticking up. So it's a neat feature. All right, so the cube just went out. Didn't quite get to a boil, but hopefully it's warm enough. I guess one thing I can do, I can test it real quick. 
a finger in there. Probably, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put another cube on there. It's probably about a little bit above room temp right now. So I'll just grab another cube. Start over before it gets too cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the pull the pot off real quick, add the next cube, get it going, start over. Yeah, I might be able to show you. Cube went to pretty much nothing, just turns pretty much to dust. So, that's the neat thing with the cube. I'll open this up real quick. There we go. Close it back up a little bit. Even if the thing is still going or whatever, um, it actually it's not too hot. I'm actually able to touch it with my bare hands without surprise about. Let's see, I gotta fold it in just a little more. Right about there. Sorry for all the traffic noise too, guys. But just deal with it, bear with it, all that stuff. What I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna pop the lid on before I put it back on just so I don't lose a bunch of heat. All right, so let's let that uh, let that go, and then hope for a boil. So with these little fuel cubes or whatever, um, they do put off a little bit of a smell. It's probably it's not as fishy as an Esbit cube, but it's all pretty much the same stuff. So. But they do put off a little bit of a smell. And with the wind blowing too, it kind of it's blowing right in my face. It's not bothering me or nothing like that. But you can smell it. So that might bother some other people. But just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. One thing too, I should have brought my windscreen. Put it around it because the wind's coming in from this way. And it just keeps blowing it. And making it, the cube burn faster and stuff too. So second cube so far is still going. We shall see. Hopefully it comes to a boil this time. It's getting a little chilly with the wind blowing. All right, so another thing I want to address is the uh, sit pad. This thing's actually, you know, pretty comfortable. I said it's a Teton Sport, just an inflatable one. But, I mean, it's so far, it's pretty durable. And so I've been I've used a few times, you know, sitting on some brush and stuff, some leaves, sticks. Now on a piece of wood that I made a bench out of couple years ago off a buddy of mine but I mean so far it's doing pretty good like I said it is comfortable it's you know like any other air pad you get used to sitting on the air part where it's squishy and stuff but it is comfortable it's holding a little bit of heat too well, not necessarily heat but it's not making my bum cold so that's nice um, but all in all I do like it so far it's bright orange too so Came down to it, you could probably use it for a signaling device. Gray on the other side. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's, it's working out pretty good for me. Let's check on this water real quick. Good. Well, I think it's a lot, lot warmer than it was before. Let's do a finger test. Three seconds, about all I can take, so. Definitely uh, heated up more, so. Right before this fuel cube goes out, I'm gonna do what I gotta do, but I'm gonna go ahead and get everything prepped. Get my cup, put my hot chocolate mix in it. Love all right? Tear here and it doesn't tear. There we go. I hope it's a nice, strong, chocolatey taste because the cup looks like it's a little bit small, so we shall see. I shouldn't need both packs, but as I said, we shall see. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this pot off, get this water into the cup, and then get our oatmeal ready too. I'm just going to do one pack right now because I'm not really that hungry. So let me get, let me get this oatmeal packet prepped and then bring it out here. Here we go. Let's take the lid off. Set it down to the side. 
Let's grab it up. These are our Duluth gloves as well. Their oatmeal packet. We can pour it right in the bag on this one. A little more. Probably about there. So with the oatmeal, one thing you want to do is right away, you're going to want to pretty much stir it up because all that flavors down at the bottom. And if not, you're gonna have a really sweet couple last bites. So I'm gonna mix it up right now before it gets set up. Really get in the corners and stuff, and you can even take your hands too and just kind of push it around. But let's get it all mixed up. You see that thing's just going away. Look at that flame. It's actually almost burnt away to nothing. It's just got a couple, probably about a minute left on it, give or take. Okay. So hot chocolate up. Sometimes move it side to side like this. It gets it going a little quicker. And then you can get it going round and round. Yeah, let's uh, put this back on there just because, put the lid back on. I don't think I'm going to need that anymore, but we shall see. I might go for another one. Should be enough for one more hot chocolate. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not big on coffee. That's why I drink hot chocolate. Once in a while I'll do a coffee, but I like it sweet and creamy. So, we're going to fold over the top of the oatmeal, let it sit for a minute. Stir this hot chocolate up, give it a go. Probably won't stay hot long because the cold air and the breeze and everything, but we'll try our best. Let's give this hot chocolate a go. Oh yeah. That's good. Joe Robin has an airplane in the background. I'm sure you can hear that. Come get your plane, Joe. Come get your plane. That's good. All right, before we get the oatmeal, let's take a look at it. See how it is. Mix it up just a little bit. Get them corners, like I said. If I wanted, I can just eat it right out the pouch like this, and I can use a spoon. But the spoon's already dirty, so I might as well use it. I guess. Fuel cube's still going. It's about to, probably about to burn out though. It's one of them nasal drip kind of days. Just enough the wind to keep bothering you. Cheers, guys. A lot of squirrels out today. On the way in, it's probably about 20 of them that I saw on the way over here. And it's not a far walk. As far as the um, pot here, as far as it goes, it 
did pretty pretty good. Yeah, the cubes, I figured I'd take two cubes for it, just because there's a decent amount of water in it. But so far, so good. So plus, being titanium, it's nice and light. So we'll see. Definitely keep testing it. Just go out. There. Thing just didn't want to go out. A little flame right in the middle. But yeah, so that's just a little UST or UTS, whatever. A little portable cooking kitchen, what they call it. You can take the, um, the base here too. You can put that right in the fire pit and use it as a stand for your pot. Look at that last bite. It's a nice sticky oatmeal. It's a lot of flavors out right there. Mm. Another little tip for you guys is uh, while you're watering your pot, still a little warm, take it, dump a little in your hands so you can wash your hands after the fact, get all the soot and everything else off. It's nice and warm so you can just rub that in. It feels really good. It's really good, especially in the morning as you wake up from camp. Do that, take a little bit, wash your face off. Wash your, wash your mouth real good. Oh yeah, nice and refreshed now. There we go. When the wind hits you and it freezes your, your face, so that's fun too. Well, all right guys, let's see another little video for you. Um, I'm gonna finish eating. I'm gonna drink my hot chocolate and then I might test out some tools and stuff. I got a couple uh, Camillus machetes that I have. I have the Carnivore X and like a bolo style one which i'll show you guys with some pictures later on but yeah till then that's uh that's the end of this video so i appreciate you joining me watching putting up with me and uh bring you back on the next one